Any one of these things, if you actually go and apply it and you actually go deeper and deeper, can really make you a lot of money. The problem is always implementation, not the information, right? So here, is the, here are the three keys to success. And to me, this is absolutely non-negotiable. And you can go tell me, find someone who doesn't have these, and we'll see. Bless you. Okay, number one, you must have a mentor. Find a successful person in the world who does not have a mentor. Come back to me. I will be shocked. Right? I mean, there, it just doesn't exist. Like someone is getting some tips, some shortcuts, something from someone. And if it also has to pass a test, we'll go over in a sec. But if you're, if you don't have a mentor, you're basically telling the universe, like, I guess I'll just stay where I am. Like, why, why would you do that? Because I don't have the money. That's why you don't have the money. Cause you don't have a mentor. Wait a second. That doesn't, it's like, it's a catch 22. Okay. When people give me the objection, I don't have the, I want to work with you, but I don't have the money. Well, that's why you have to work with me because you don't have the money. If you had the money, you wouldn't need to work with me, right? Should I do a comedy routine on that? But it's true, but it's true. Usually the objections people give are actually the reasons they must buy. It's a good one to write down too. The objections you give are the reasons you must buy, right? Or must move forward or take action, okay? If you're getting objections from someone, you don't want to be convincing if you don't know like the sales techniques it's hard because you someone gives you an objection and then you try to convince them otherwise that doesn't work because there are you know if you don't know how to actually step back and see the real like what's really going on in there and how to influence them then you have a challenge right so that's that's a skill that you need to learn but you must have a mentor and it must pass each of these must pass the test okay so this must pass the mentor test we'll go over that in a sec the second thing you must have is a community you must have a community. Here's the thing, like, it's not like you can't have some success without these things, but I'm talking about reaching your potential, okay? Do you guys wanna play small? No. no, right? Like, we're over that. How many of you feel like, to be real, you have been playing small? Okay, thank you for being honest. Okay, we all go there, we all do that. And it's not, it's just because we're scared, you know, or just because we don't have the right, like we don't know exactly what to do. My, like one of the things that I used to say over and over in my head, like one of my limiting beliefs was I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. You know, what should I do next? I don't know. It's like I thought I had to have the exact right thing and so I would be limited, I wouldn't take action, I would be apathetic, I wouldn't do anything because I didn't know exactly the right thing to do as if there's always only one right thing. Okay, and that was always holding me back. But what happens is, like, so you have a mentor, that's great, helps you know what the right thing is or at least some right things to do that will work so you can get the shortcuts. But the community will make you go even faster even faster because if I tell you wow guys this is my success this is what I've done you're like yeah 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 of course you can do it because now I'm here but I wasn't but for some reason you don't believe me like if I came and stood out in front of this room when I was making you know two thousand dollars a month and I was like eh, really awesome trust me and like if I told you the truth how much debt I had you'd be like walking out of the room like you don't want to model that but if you start to see within the community like you see Georgie and Susanna and Janet and these are ladies and you know Raquel and Eva in this community where someone who let's can I use your story from last week so Raquel came on a call last week two weeks ago I'm sorry and she said I have this um, program coming up course whatever it is and I don't have anyone in it right and I don't have any leads and I keep trying I keep talking to people but I can't seem to sell it is that right Okay, cool. And then I gave her some tips. I told her what to do and she went and went and did it. And how many do you have now in the course? Six and then I have seven. So now you have seven one. since we had a call yesterday. Okay, cool. She got seven in the course. Okay. So now you don't have to believe me. You see someone who came with absolutely no sales and one and a half call, well, two calls really. Now she has seven and that call, second call was just yesterday. She just joined the Fem Mentorship, hasn't even started and she's already getting results. Like that's freaking amazing. So you guys hear that and you're more likely to take action, not just borrow my belief, but borrow her belief or borrow the belief that, oh my God, the system actually works. So you start to get results. You have to have that community. The other thing the community does, is just unconditional support. How many of you, again, let's be real, in your life, in your communities, in your environment, you have people who are naysayers. Raise your hands high, yes. Everyone, right? We typically do, unless we will not stand for it anymore or we have them, but we just don't listen to them. 
And if you're surrounding yourself with those people who are constantly saying, even if they love you, I call these the th three saboteurs. They're your loved ones, they're, based, they're you, your loved ones, and other mentors. Because sometimes when you have other mentors and they give you other advice, and then you have two mentors telling you two different things, you lose the belief. You don't know whose belief to borrow, and so you don't take the action. Okay, but the saboteurs typically love you, especially your loved ones. And they just are afraid because they don't want you to step outside your comfort. It doesn't feel safe. You know, there's a part of your brain it's called the critter brain or the lizard brain, or, yeah, occipital lobe, whatever, amygdala, um, that's job is to keep you safe. Okay, it exists in our brain, it exists in everybody's brain. So your parents, your friends, your husbands, the people who love you want you to be safe. And everything that hasn't already existed that you haven't already survived is perceived as not safe. This is why when you say, oh, I want to do this, but my husband's going to get mad. Someone said to your husband, right? He's going to get mad at me because I spent the money, whatever, whatever. He just wants to protect you because you've never survived that. And maybe you've spent, how many of you have spent a lot of money on seminars? I did. And didn't necessarily get the financial results. I did. Okay. <laughs> and so that really kind of sucks. So there are people who are going to prevent you from that. That's why you need to be around people who are getting results, who are stepping outside their comfort zone, who support you unconditionally so that you have that love and support to allow you to keep taking those risks. If you want to succeed in business, you need to surround yourself with a community who are people who are similar to you, who have similar problems and who want similar results in business. So if I want to succeed in health, which is something I'm working on right now, like I, I, what I'm missing, and this is what I have been missing, which I actually am very frustrated with. I actually did a course last year. I paid $8,500 to do a three month course and I had a great mentor and I was following the system, but when I wasn't getting the result, I started to lose the belief. And I told my mentor, I called her and I said, hey, I need some people in the community to talk to because I'm like lacking belief. And I was like, can you tell me, like, have me talk to some people, let me connect with some people who have had this problem, ideally a similar problem, and who have gotten the results. So then I'm like gung-ho to do this forever. And she said, I don't do that because I want you to go within because everybody's different. And like, so I quit. Like seriously, I couldn't do it because I didn't have the community. So that's what I mean. If you're gonna, if you want to excel in a certain area, that's the community you need. The third thing it has to do with you is commitment. Okay? You must be 100% committed. How many of you think you're 100% committed to your success? Say yes. yes. Okay, bullshit. <laughs> You say that, but then I'll ask you to do something. And even though you believe it's going to help, you have fears. And so you don't take action. And so you're not 100% committed. 100% committed means you're willing to do whatever it takes. Now you are more committed than most people. And maybe you will step outside your comfort zone and take more action. I hope you do. But I'm calling you on bullshit because I know people say they're committed. I was talking to a woman on the phone once and she was telling me how much she had to make money in her business so much that she thought she was going to cause herself a heart attack. And she had heart palpitations and she had a scare where she literally like she took herself to the hospital because she thought she was going to die. And I said, great. So do you believe that I can help you? She said, yes. I said, great. Here's the next step. You ready? She said, no, I can't put money on a credit card. <laughs> like I get it. That's another fear. But it wasn't because she didn't believe I could help her. It was because there was a fear of that. That means she wasn't willing to do whatever it takes. It's not always about money, but that is a big one, oh, right? Yeah. If you're willing to do whatever it takes, that means you're willing to do whatever it takes. That means if I say, go make this video tomorrow and here's how you do it, you go do it. Not, I'm too scared, right? That means, yeah, I get it. You're scared. I'm not mad at you for it, but you're just not willing to do whatever it takes. Am I being too harsh? No, you Is it okay to be real with you? No, okay, it. cool. Now here's the thing. I am not always willing to do whatever it takes. Like right now, like I have goals and some are here and some are here and like I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get here, but I'm not willing to do whatever it takes to get here. Like I will not sacrifice my child. I don't mean like literally like, like, you know, Abraham and Isaac, but I mean, I will not sacrifice the health of my baby for my business. No, no way, no how, not ever. But this doesn't sacrifice it. This enhances it. Do you know what I mean? But it's not like I'll do what, so you guys gotta, you know, what does that mean to you? But if you say, I want to make a hundred thousand dollars next year in my business or in the next 12 months, full stop, I'm committed to that. And then I say, this is what you need to do. You got to go do this video. You got to go put this on Facebook or you got to go do that. And then you say, no, I can't, or you don't do it. You're not willing. 